Hey guys, my name is Dylan, and today I'm gonna to reveal a free tool that will help you eliminate jump cuts. And you may or may not have already noticed that I used it already. Here's what this shot looked like before. Hey guys, my name is Dylan. Uh, what was the next part of it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. And today I'm gonna to show you I'm gonna reveal a free tool that will help you eliminate jump cuts. And today I'm gonna to reveal a free tool that will help you eliminate jump cuts. So we'll first cut out this big long mess. I set up markers here to save time. So I'll press R to bring up the range tool. We'll drag out to these markers and then press delete. So in Final Cut Pro, go into your transitions by either clicking this button or by pressing the shortcut Control Command 5. Type in flow. This is what you'll use. It's free, it comes with Final Cut Pro. Drag it between your clip, and what I like to do is render just that transition so I can see how it looks. So press the transition and press Control R. That's the shortcut to render whatever you have selected. It really comes in handy. Dylan, and today I'm gonna- My name is Dylan, and today I'm gonna review- You'll see here that it looks okay, Dylan. but when I'm saying and, and, it doesn't look 100%. And so what we'll do here is delete it, and I'll extend this clip a few frames so we can better see the and spoken out of my mouth. So press the end of the clip and press comma a few times to extend the clip a couple frames. Dylan, and today I'm gonna Dylan, and today I'm gonna reveal a. F and that looks much better. It is hard to believe that I messed up so much in between the clips, huh? Now here's the issue with the transition, and it's why it's not always a savior. I'll press Shift Z to see my whole timeline, and let's make some cuts after this section and before the next by pressing Command B and Command B, and then delete. Jump cuts. And you may or may not, and you- you see how my body moves a lot between this clip and the next one? This is a good indicator that the transition may not work. It works really well when you or your talent hasn't moved all that much. And you may or cuts. And you may or may not have cuts. And you may or may not And you'll see that looks like I am possessed. <laughs> Last time I checked, I'm not. So what we can do is try and work it a little more, and you should try and do this if it's not looking how you want it. Delete the transition and try extending your clip out a little. Re-render if you need to. And you may and you may or you can also drag out the duration of the transition and that's going to have final cut try and make the transition from shot a to shot b a little smoother here it doesn't look great and i just wanted to show you this so you know what to expect sometimes because it really is not always perfect but it does help a lot so with this last example we'll cut out what we don't want so we're left with the jump cut because my head is in a pretty similar position this may work so we will add the transition over top that I used it already. Here's what this shot looked like that I used it already. Here's what this shot looked like that I used it already. Here's what this shot looked like. You can kind of see my head jump a little, but I promise your viewers will be unaware of something like that unless it is a little too pronounced. But I think here it works. It really is an awesome free little tool to help with jump cuts in the right scenarios, and I use it a lot, and I bet you probably haven't noticed many. If you want to learn a really helpful tip to remembering footage you like while editing in Final Cut, click the video on this screen and subscribe if you enjoy helpful little tips like these. Have a great day, guys.